to ensure that there is uh, quality job opportunities, but also the right uh, skills that are ready to take those. Thank you, Irene. And hello, everyone. Mariana Kael, pleasure to be here with you. I like to see, as we entrepreneurs uh, see things, crisis as opportunities. And I tend to see the pandemic and the silver lining of the pandemic as perhaps the biggest opportunities of our time, because it gives us the opportunity to remove the barriers that separate the talent from the job opportunities at global scale. But we need to address also that the market that we are living in, in the fourth industrial revolution, requires different skills skills that are digital that didn't uh, exist in the curricula of many of the educational institutional institutions before. So I do believe that in this context and many of the efforts that we are doing, we recently launched in collaboration with the government of Colombia and with Impulsa and the SENA programs to educate uh, women on skills for, for employability can help them change the dynamic because now we have a region full of talent that thanks to this opportunity, and also as something that we have done with the IDB in Guatemala, training women on what they need to succeed in the digital economy can bring through the pandemic a flattened mark marketplace, a opportunity to build cheaper companies because now with on-demand economy, with the cloud technology, with companies, becoming more and more global, we have a massive chance to build from the region and exporting the innovation that, as we Latin Americans always think, we have through creativity. And as Eric Smith said, scarcity breeds clarity. It is clear that we have now to take over and dominate innovation from our region to the world, including Latin America and the Caribbean, of course. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> advice, but we always tell that we want money and we want <laughs> networks. So <laughs> one thing that, uh, as you know, for women entrepreneurs, it's quite challenging to raise capital. So I follow a different path. I raise money global, glo uh, via global equity crowdfunding, and I raised $50 million and took my company to unicorn status through that. So I saw a, a path to create alternative funding models using the crowd, like giving the people the power to support the entrepreneurs. So as I learned to do this for myself, I launched a, a platform called Unicorn Hunters alongside with a, a Steve Wozniak, a Rosie Rios, the former treasurer of the United States, Lance Bass from NSYNC. And I partner up with different organizations, both from the startup ecosystem, uh, or, uh, Big shout out to, to Mariana and uh, Mariano uh, as well from Microsoft for a Startup, one of our partners for Impulsa here at Francisco, La Corfo, and many different partners as well to create a platform that will bring through a Shark Tank meet um, Robin Hood the possibility for entrepreneurs to uh, pitch to uh, celebrities, including Steve Wozniak and uh, appeal to global audiences so they can crowdfund. And among many of the examples, we launched the first season with six companies. We have committed over for, uh, for over $50 million, 1.3 billion impressions, 40 million views, which is almost at the ranking of Shark Tank. But the most important is entrepreneurs talking to people, pitching their businesses to the wall, markets like Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Mexico, Colombia, Chile and Argentina and entrepreneurs that we are uh, presenting from Latin America. Two of them, one from Chile will air very soon in two weeks in our show. And we have one from Mexico raising millions of dollars to global equity crowdfunding. So my message is think outside the box, skirt the rules, don't break them, just bend them. Make sure that you do things that are perfectly legal and appeal to the people because people can back your business. And as we always said, entrepreneurs need money and need access. So we can give these entrepreneurs the money and the access that they need and partner with them, hopefully to build the next billion dollar company. Thank you, Silvina. 